We are Daryl and Kathy, and we have just embarked on a huge adventure. Join us as we begin our sailing journey on sailing vessel Dizer. In this episode, we take you back to summer. It's our first sail on our own. Nathan is still with us on holiday from university. We are taking him to see the island of Corfu, where he has also planned a meet-up with some buddies. Disaster strikes when our dinghy is stolen. We are left stranded on the quayside at 11 o'clock at night with no dinghy, no way to get back to our boat. Enjoy watching our first sail, our first anchorage and Kathy's failed attempt to look graceful as she climbs into the dinghy. The sun is just rising and we are just leaving Prebeza Harbour and we are heading north to Corfu today. We can drop the anchor from the cockpit or we can use a remote control as Kathy is using here. First Kathy releases the safety tie on the anchor. Then we must find our spot. Shallow enough water and not too close to other boats so we can swing safely round our anchor as the wind changes. One right here with this little group. Yeah, if we slot in here. When I say drop, Kathy must release the chain immediately. How many meters? Um, 10. Okay. If the water depth is 10 meters, we will need at least 40 meters of chain. All is at least four times the depth and more than that in a strong wind. Nathan having a shower. This is probably the most scenic shower that yeah. Nathan has ever had in his life. Now all on the internet. You might ask why I'm doing the washing by hand when our boat has a beautiful washing machine. Well, the reason is that we don't have enough power to run the washing machine. So when we are in a marina and we're connected up to shore power, we can run all the wonderful electrical appliances that we have. Like we've got a microwave oven, the washing machine, all our computers, all our navigational equipment, 
um, fans, air conditioning. But if we are at anchor like we are now and like we most probably will be most of the time, I'll just show you where we are. This beautiful spot here. And our um, living on a boat needs to be sustainable. So we have solar panels for electricity and we are trying to live in a sustainable way. The trouble is we don't generate enough electricity. We've got a great big generator so we can generate more electricity but we use diesel to run the generator. So we have to solve this problem otherwise I am going to be washing clothes by hand. I don't fancy that, not one bit. So let's see, any ideas would be gratefully received. Welcome Luke and Alpie <laughs> to Dizer. Hi. Our first dinner party on <laughs> the boat. Thank you for having us. It's so lovely to oh. be here. <laughs> With some fabulous Prosecco. Thank you very much Woo Luke. Woo. <laughs> Cheers. 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 <laughs> Ooh, this is nice. Is it? Oh, it's really yeah. great. Cheers, everybody. Thank well, you guys. Thank you for having us. Thank you so much for having us. Cheers. Happy Enjoy. day. You know where the flower dies in? In Table Mountain. Okay, yeah, yeah. So we named the boat after the flowers. So we named the boat after the flowers. So we named the boat after the flowers. Corfu City has two fortresses. The one that is lit up here behind us is known as the Old Fortress. The earliest fort dates back to around the 6th century. As the centuries went by, the fortifications were renewed and strengthened. The building that we see today was built in the 1400s and it even has a moat turning the peninsula into an artificial island with a drawbridge. Three times the Corfu fortress was successfully defended by its garrison when they were attacked by the Ottomans in the 1500s and the 1700s. Today the fortress houses a library and in 1981 it was used as a backdrop for a scene in the James Bond film For Your Eyes Only. Snag on the engine. Where are we going? Uh, we're going to go to Bouvier, um, uh, Park Cup here. We're going to walk into Denison. Stuff like we go to the uh, beach. Well, here we are in Corfu town once again and Daryl is still on the boat. He's going to be joining us for dinner after we've done a bit of shopping. Bind it like in the new. Bind it in like this. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you can do that. 
of the top in India now too. Okay, there we go. We can all fit in. What are you hoping to do on your last couple of days? Do some sailing, play okay. some Dungeons and Dragons. I broke the rest of them into Dungeons and Dragons. Nice, nice. Uh, would you like to introduce your characters? Um, I am Lady Katrina. Who are you, Daryl? I am Udo the Zorg. As we enjoyed our stroll around Corfu town, little did we know that our beautiful dinghy complete with 15 horsepower motor and 20 litres of fuel in a tank had been slipped from its moorings on this full moon evening and even now was chugging away over the ocean in the hands of an evil villain. Where is James Bond when you need him? It's a beautiful tour. We've got the ice, we don't want it to yes. melt. Back to the boat. Back to the boat. Wow, what an incredible sight. Somewhere over there, one of those lights is our anchor light. That moon is so incredible. The moon is riding high. The uh, when we got back to where our dinghy should have been, we stopped filming immediately. We were so traumatized by this whole, uh, by not seeing the dinghy where it should have been. We started questioning ourselves. I had to ask, first of all, was I on the right dock? <laughs> and then, um, did I tie it up properly? Because your knot can work loose and it can drift off. Or did somebody come along and un undo it and just let it drift off? Or did somebody take it by accident and went to their boat? Because the thing is all look alike. So, we think they took the dinghy because it had a uh, powerful engine which was a 15 horsepower engine it had a lot of petrol a big tank and it was a three meter dinghy and it was a very special high pylon yeah, yeah, yeah. dinghy yeah. Uh, and when we came to value it we discovered that it's a similar price to a brand new small car to replace the dinghy and the motor so it was a real real shock and we didn't know what to do. We ran up and down. It was a full moon night, so you could see a long way. Nathan was charging off in one direction. We were charging in the other direction, talking to people. Did you see anyone? Did you see anything suspicious? We phoned the Coast Guard. The Coast Guard said, come to our office tomorrow during office hours. 
and there we were stranded on the dockside at 11 o'clock at night with our boat out there and us not able to get to it. So uh, we decided to hike a lift and we waited on the quayside for anybody going in, in our direction. There was one dinghy left. So we hitched the ride and they gave us a ride out to our boat. But then we were in a predicament because now we didn't have transport and we still were on the boat without the dinghy. So the next day when we went to the Coast Guard, we had to use our subboards to get from the boat back to the shore. And um, we locked those up with padlocks. We quite quite um, yeah. different in our approach now. And it's quite sad because everybody ties up their dinghies at the edge. I mean, where we are right now, you can actually see that behind me, there are lots of little boats here for fishermen. And they are all just tied up with rope. Nobody locks their boats. And people that we spoke to were actually really shocked that it had happened because everybody just ties up their dinghies when they come into town for a dinner or to do some shopping and you come back you get in your dinghy you go back to your boat it was our first trip so it was a really really sad day for us luckily we had a good insurer and um, kudos to Pantaneous. As soon as we submitted our claim, within days they had paid out. And so the story didn't end sadly for us. Um, but we'll have to tell you more about that. So that's a story next for another time. day. Yeah. Um, until next time. Bye bye. Cheerio. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell so that you never miss an episode. You can like by giving us a thumbs up, share the video with your friends and write us a comment below.